Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In today's video, we'll discuss in the Power BI interview if the interviewer asks you how you can calculate the total sales or revenue using inactive relation between your dimension and the fact table. And how will you do that part? So we'll discuss today this part. So this is a sample report that you can see on the screen. Let me take you to the model section, model view. So this is my fact table, AW underscore sales. And this is my date table, aw underscore calendar, okay? So if I talk about the active relationship, as of now, the active relationship is between, if I show you correctly, it is between date column and the order date column from the fact table. Now, if there is an inactive relationship, as you can see here, it also exists between the date column of calendar table and the stock date column of the sales fact table. Okay, so this the so there is an inactive relationship that is existing here. So now if I have to calculate the sales using this inactive relationship, how we can do this through the DAX part? Okay, so we'll discuss today that thing. Okay, let me go to the report view section, go to my fact table, create a measure on the basis of my inactive relation. Okay, so for that, let me zoom in. Okay, I will give the name total revenue with inactive status. Okay, so we'll start with our favorite function that is the calculate. Okay, now so first will be the expression so here it will be total revenue and the total revenue measure i have already created so i will just type the name of total revenue okay okay now we have to use use relationship dax function here to implement this scenario okay remember this whenever we have to use the inactive relation between two tables use relationship function will come into effect okay i will just type use relationship tax function okay so so the it takes two arguments both are the column names and we just have to include those column names with which are having the inactive relation between them okay so the first column is the date column from the date table that is the calendar table so i will include that and the second column is the stock date column which is having the uh, inactive relation okay so we have included both the columns close the uh, bracket for the use relationship function and then closing it for the calculate function okay so this is calendar date one to many side that is the fact table so in this way we will declare our column names and use this use relationship dax function now just press enter key i hope the measure will work now Okay, no error. Let's see its value here also. So total, total, total revenue. This, this is the measure. Okay, so let me convert into card. You can see the proper value. So you can see, this is the total revenue that we are getting with the inactive relation between date column and the stock date column from the fact table okay so in this way you can answer this question to the interviewer that's it from this video so if you haven't subscribed my channel so please subscribe to my channel as i will keep uploading these valuable videos for you all that will help you in cracking the interviews thank you